They slept remarkably well last night, didn't you? In the puppy nursery or puppy bedroom with all the other doggies, didn't you? Is that where you slept last night, you and your brother? Was it nice with all your family? I know. There was only one pee accident throughout the night, which was outstanding. And then so far this morning, there was one pee accident, but they're doing really good. I have them back to the very basics in regards to a time schedule for potty training. So they're going out every two hours. Yeah, every two hours, buddy. Just like when you were a small little puppy, but that's okay. We'll get you both up to speed. But I notice with him, he's so clingy, wanting to be everywhere I'm going. Not really socializing with the other dogs, but preferring to socialize with me. And who knows, in the next few days, Bucko might come right around and start really socializing with the other dogs too. But as of now, he's, like I said, still kind of distant like he was yesterday and cautious. He'll hang around them, but he prefers to be up where I'm too. But no, his brother is all about Dodger and his sisters and mommy and just in on all the action. <laughs> he's such a big boy compared to his brother, the two of them, oh my goodness. They're both done with their daddy now. The ideal outcome would be for two of them to stay together, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But as the days go on, we'll see how they do. They absolutely love breakfast this morning. Oh my goodness. Here, personally, we do all fresh. But again, they're just all out, moseying around, sniffing. <laughs> what, Dodger? Ariel going with her bit of celery. <laughs> She's so funny and cute. Do you see a bird like that up in the sky? She was chasing them earlier this morning. I had to get her to stop. I don't want you to hurt the birds. No. Gotcha. Hello, Miss Ariel. <laughs> But when they came and dropped them off yesterday, now I could be wrong, but it just really came out that they didn't really care. It was so heartbreaking, honestly, like, I was upset, I was angry, and I was just a lot of emotion. But as soon as I started to do the process of evaluation, they didn't even want to stick around for it. They wanted no part of it, just wanted to go. Didn't even really give the boys any affection or anything like that before they had to go. They never asked me, was there anything I could do on my end that they could, that could result in them keeping the boys. It was nothing. And it was just, like I said, so heartbreaking, but it was just clear evidence. It wasn't the home for them and they weren't meant to be there. They'll find their forever home and a better home and we'll make sure that in this time, we are pretty thorough. We do interviews, applications, the whole nine yards, and we're pretty picky, but I think now, especially where this is our first case of puppies returning, we're going to be very, very particular with who they go with. Hey boys. Yes, we are. The first people we decided to reach out to after me and my husband discussed it is the Golden Star, as we call them, adopters. And these are adopters that we know if we reach out to them, good boy using outside. Good job. But they are the ones that, <laughs> Kina's going to pee right over it. They're the ones that we know that if we message or text or call about anything, especially if it comes to a concern of one of the puppies, finding homes, anything like that. They're the adopters that steady update us on their puppies, who always are asking and requesting for more information, uh, previous litters, upcoming litters, how things are going with mom and dad, sending us pictures, videos. So just on their file folders, we just have a golden star and they're the ones that when things like this happen, we contact because they're ones we know will respond and help us seek homes for the boys. Hey, Miss Nala. Yeah, we'll find the babies good homes, I promise. What? What's wrong? You want me to flick your ball? But it's so dirty, especially after it rained. Oh my goodness. I'll kick it for you if you like. Oh, watch out, Kenai. Okay, you ready? You set? Go. But yes, we're gonna reach out to them first, see if 
they wish to adopt if they know someone who wishes to adopt family member or friend anything like that and then we'll just keep going from there hey miss nala yes we'll just keep going from there but they'll get good homes regardless no matter how long it takes they can stay here they're not forced out and regardless like i said they're here for seven to twelve days because where they did show signs of anxiety hey baby what are you doing Oh, <laughs> your brother coming. You look so much like Dodger. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you're just a little bit more beige. Yeah, you're a little bit more beige. That's all, but you look so much like him. <laughs> Is it good, buddy? Nice and cold on your teeth where you're still teething? Yeah. Was it good? You're welcome, buddy. Did it feel good on your teeth? Now that's your brother's. Your daddy didn't eat his. Look, Kenai's is there if you want to take his. He's like, all right. Their socialization is doing all right. One is doing better than the other. We got one that's very social. And another one we've noticed, he's a bit more withdrawn. He's not hanging around the other dogs as much, certainly hovering around me a lot and keeping more to himself. But his brother is more involved around the other dogs, playing with them. And he will go over and play with them, but not as much. Hopefully as the days go on, he'll become more socialized with the other dogs as well. <laughs> in the sandbox. <laughs> That's where you're allowed to dig, buddy. Yeah, you can dig there. I'm curious if he will or not, or if he's going to use it as a giant litter box because the home they came from, they did have cats there. Oh no, he's digging. That's good. That's a good sign. Dodger now digging over in the sandbox. He's like, look, guys, this is where you're allowed to dig. <laughs> But command training was the next thing we went on just to see and both of them are also back to basics on that now one of the dogs we did start basic command training with the other one we did not if a puppy is with us for longer than eight weeks we begin training so they have basic command training done before they go to their new home but if they go prior to eight weeks the family is responsible for command training but anyway both of them are back to basics <laughs> so that is okay we started with callback because they're not even really responding to callback oh look at dodger <laughs> he's so happy to have other boys around there's been so many females that the boys around he's definitely liking he missed nala nala's just wandering around enjoying the fact that she's no longer in heat but he's like a mini dodger he looks exactly like a like <laughs> It's like a clone. Oh my goodness. Even Ryan accidentally mistaked him at one point until he was like, wait a second, no, you're a lot tinier. You're not Dodger. <laughs> you can dig in there, buddy. That's a sandbox for you guys to dig. <laughs> what do you think? All the others. Hi, buddy. Oh my so many doggies so after we did the evaluation of command training to see if they had any type of callback responses to anything we realized that they did not we then moved on to 
their reaction to a crate or kennel. Were they fearful? Were they able to enter and exit on their own? Were they able to stay in it and be okay and calm? And they were very fearful of the crate, both of them. So that was their reaction to that. So that's, that's another thing that we have to work on them is getting them out of that fear and having them realize if they go to a home that someone crate trains when they're away at work or whatever and that's where the dog is placed that, that is a safe space for them that it's okay to be in there and not to be scared so back to basics with that as well <laughs> Layla everybody's digging in the sandbox today I'm so happy because they both showed signs after of anxiety they will be here for seven to twelve days they're all just out here having some celery now <laughs> As a little treat, dessert. Thank you, Nye. Looking over your family. Oh, big guns. What do you think, buddy boy? Your brother's down there somewhere. There's Dodger. Where is he? To oh, he's tucked in right there. Is it good? Nice little treat. <laughs> what do you got now, buddy boy? Carrots. <gasps> Can I get you some carrots to snack on now? <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? Hi, Kenai. Hey, buddy. Hey, your other sons. Hey, Dodger. You eat all your carrot, Dodger? Was it good? Yeah. Ariel's still eating hers. Same with the other girls. What are you trying to go with, boys? What are y'all trying to go with? Oh, my. Hey, buddy. I know. You just cleaned up your doggy doo doo. Tune on a stick. There they go. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. How do we get it across the yard? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. Hi everyone, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna treat the two little ones for a flea and tick here now, so that's done. Yeah, we're gonna get them all sorted out with flea and tick stuff. Yes, we are. There, that's all done. You got a little racing stripe on your back now from your flea and tick ointment. So do you, buddy. All done. What do you think? I don't know, fleas or ticks will get on you. Yeah. I don't want to touch your back and stuff because we just put that ointment on you. Oh my goodness, Ariel. <laughs> Ariel, out of all sticks and stuff, that's what you hauled out of the pile of wood to go in the fire? What are you like, my dear? He absolutely loves sitting down and watching the birds. <laughs> watching the birds over in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, do you see the birdie? The one going across the driveway. <laughs>
You're chasing all the birds, Nella. Ariel, he's allowed to have a stick too. You got the big old stump with sticks on it. Let him have that little stick. Ariel, let him have that little stick. He's like, I'll get it. Get it from her, buddy. Oh, no. You got a little tardy bit. There, I gave you a stick, buddy. Is that good? Perfect size for you. Yeah, it's a perfect size. Now his clone Dodger is over watching the birds. Hey Dodger, you see it? There's two of them there in the grass. Good boy peeing outside. Good job.